judge that one. Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my next guest this evening is a newly minted Emmy Award-winning actor you know from I, Tanya, Richard Jewell, and Blackbird. He now lends his voice in the new animated film, Orion in the Dark. Please welcome to The Late Show, Paul Walter Hauser. <laughs> Good to see you guys. How nice, you to, nice to see you again. We ran, out to, ran into each other briefly out at the Emmys. Congratulations on that. Thanks, man. That was a fun night. That was a fun night. It was much more fun if you win. Uh, I, you know, I, I almost said I wouldn't know, and then that sounds really cocky and arrogant and gross. I just you've mean, never gone and lost. I never lose. Where's the camera? I never <laughs> lose unless it's an intellectual competition. Um, <laughs> I, uh, no, yeah, it was really fun. I mean, regardless, I think it, had I not won and I still got to eat three free Mother Wolf, the, the restaurant where uh, I mean... Sure, that's where we ran into each other. I would have yeah. been fine just eating pasta. Well, you won for playing Larry Hall in Blackbird. Yeah. And you said that that project changed your life. It did. And you've already been, you've already done some extraordinary work in I, Tanya and Richard Jewell. Why is this one such a life changer? Thanks, man. Yeah, I think this really changed my life because I... I Ended up getting sober in the middle of the shoot. You know, I was kind of in a, oh, I was good. in a rough, I was in a rough place personally. I was not the best version of myself, uh, to put it vague and safe. Um, <laughs> but uh, but then I played this serial killer, and you're in New Orleans, which is a very spiritually uh, thick place to be. There's there's a there's a there's a film. There's an atmosphere of of dark. Yes. Spirituality there at times and uh, psychic humidity. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, a drafty place sometimes. So I, I got sober in the middle of the shoot and uh, and I started going to therapy. It was like the catalyst for all these wonderful things that happened, including healing my family. Um, I actually, I actually did a thing called I Am Second. I, what is that? I uh, no, thank you. I do. I, uh, I did this uh, video documentary thing called I Am Second, and if you look it up on YouTube, you can see my wife and I, our whole story, where we very vulnerably talk about our, our problems and how, uh, and how we mended them and how we got back together. It's a beautiful story. That's lovely. Yeah. Well, you're not, just, you're, you're not just an actor. You've taken up a side hustle. Yes. Which is professional wrestling. Oh, I thought you meant the lemonade stand. The, okay. The, people, um, all, people always need fluids. Yes. I, but <laughs> tell me, tell me about the the professional Raising, wrestling. Was, what was, brought you on to that? Yeah, I, I love wrestling. I grew up watching it, sure. and uh, I never graduated from that. I just people are like, you know, it's fake, and I'm like, you know, it's also fake. Me being a serial killer in Blackbird. That's also <laughs> not a real thing. Um, but I, you know, I, I decided I wanted to do this. You know, Bruce Willis famously plays the harmonica. And that was like a, another talent of his, a thing he did when he wasn't acting. And I was like, maybe wrestling could be my harmonica. Well, we have a clip here. Do you want to tell us what's happening? It's you in, in the ring. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be curious what the clip is. Yeah, this is... Okay, no, let's, assuming... let's, let's just discover it together. Okay. All it's right? It's Mystery Science Theater. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Get yeah. it. Oh, that is me throwing Matthew Palmer on his back at this, uh, at this show called Wrestling Revolver in Los Angeles. I can't even keep my leg up, but bam! Biggity bam! Stinger splash, there it is. So I, uh, this guy Sammy Callahan said, do you want to make a cameo appearance at our, at our wrestling uh, pay-per-view? It's for charity. I said, of course, if it's for charity, I'll do it. And then he goes, you want to wrestle? And I'm like, what? Okay, yeah, man. So I, I did some training and we put on a fun show, yeah. Well, you've got the move. Thank you, man. The, that drop can't be easy. No, you you um you gotta brace for that mat. I think some people think it's like a trampoline, and it's like no, no, you've never had to have spinal surgery from a trampoline. You might have to, you know, get a massage. But that that stuff is the real deal. You just have to fight through it, and you have a lot of adrenaline too. I'm not used to being adrenaline. That. Yeah, you know what I'm talking You're about. You're not it. used to adrenaline. Listen, You're a I performer. Know. You don't have any nervousness before you go on. A, d a different adrenaline. I think, like on set, it's actually when you're doing a movie or a show, you actually have to be more restrained. You can't let the adrenaline 
uh, steer you in sure, a performance. I understand, yeah. Whereas, you know, in a, an athletic sort of engagement, you really get to, you don't even feel the pain, you're just in it. The new film you're in, let me get this out right here. Yeah, Striptease the new 2. The film you're in. Oh, Orion in the Dark. Is, uh, there you are, you played the dark in uh, the new movie, animated movie, Orion in the Dark, written by my old uh, Dana Carvey co-worker, Charlie Kaufman. Charlie Kaufman, who, I mean, you guys have seen his movies, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, adaptation with Nicolas Cage, like he's this brilliant creative guy. He's yeah. okay. Um, <laughs> Who do you play? What? Well, who is the dark? And what was it like making this movie? Um, making this movie with that second-rate B-list Stephen Colbert writer, um, <laughs> it was uh, it was tremendous. I'm just I'm such a fan of Charlie's. The director Sean Charmatz is a total mensch, and uh, and I got to do a kids movie that's got like some drama and some like harsh intellectual uh, uh, theories in it. it. It wasn't like I was just doing. Paw Patrol. It was, mm -hmm. it was more like Nothing therapy against Patrol. Paw Patrol, which is a Viacom product, and we're so proud of it at Paramount. Now, you know, you know, do you so have, I, I, it goes. You don't want to piss off Taylor Swift because the Taylor Swift fans will come after you. Sure, yeah, exactly. Paw Patrol, I think, is is number three or four. I think it's like Taylor, mm -hmm. Trump, paws. How old are your kids? I have a uh, my son Harris Boland Hauser is three in April. And my son Jonah Maverickhauser is one in April. They're about two years. Oh, so they're a little they're a little young to know what dad is doing. I was wondering whether this no. would be a good movie for them. Um no, knowing their attention spans, it'll it'll be about ten minutes and then it'll be back to me wiping their asses and <laughs> cleaning vomit off my favorite sweater. Sure. Yeah. Do they understand yet that you're an Emmy winner? No. That it's an Emmy winner wiping their butt? <laughs> You should just put there's, it right next to the crib. There's an old, there's an old joke that I heard somebody talk about where like Charles Durning, the, the actor from Dog Day Afternoon, he he was nominated for two Emmys and he'd go to this poker game in Hollywood with all these other actor guys. And every time he'd put it in his, his bed, he's like, ah, anting up, here is two-time Oscar nominee Charles Durning. <laughs> just like Santa. Yeah, I gotta start saying that with my kids. Yeah, 100 percent How's that how's that cinnamon toast crunch? Because it just got poured. By Golden Globe Emmy winning <laughs> Paul Walter Hauser. Yeah. yeah. Well, they should probably refer to you that way and say, I love you, Golden Globe and Emmy winning dad, <laughs> Paul Walter Hauser. Paul Walter Hauser is already a mouthful. It already sounds arrogant from Jump Street. We, we've got to bring it down to PWH, maybe. Do, pe do people ever mistake that your last name is Walter Hauser? Oh, yeah. Or, or I'll, it, yeah. I'll go to a hotel and I'm like, I'm sure I made a reservation. And they'll be like, Oh, it's under Walter Hauser, or we thought your uh, first name was Walter Hauser Paul, or something like the comma was in. Mm -hmm. It's difficult, and, and then, then you... I have to get violent. Exactly, which, that's where the wrestling comes in. Obviously. Exactly, and then you just take out the Emmy and go. Does this, ref does this refresh <laughs> your mind? I say, does this caress your genitalia? And I just stare at them. <laughs> listen, no, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Time out. Time I could, out. I could, I could add some time to time Demi, and you're. And cut time from the show, you realize. Out. You understand. Listen. Name on the front of the building. I can do anything I want with this. Listen, I, I am a huge fan of Demi Moore. So I just, I understand. I understand if you want, if you want to elongate the, she's great. Orion in the Dark premieres on Netflix this Friday. Paul Walterhauser, everybody. We'll be right back.